once again this wonderful initiative led by New South Wales Police Force and particularly Superintendent Noakes of the, of the Police Air Wing. What a novel approach, stuff your chopper. Well last year they put the challenge out and we all responded. This year they've put the challenge out again to the fellow emergency services right across New South Wales and we've all worked together but today I'd like to particularly say a big thank you to the RFS members, their families, their loved ones and of course their local communities who have responded enormously. We've got 18 tonnes that have been amassed just through the Rural Fire Service uh, this year right around New South Wales. Everyone's come on board because you won't find a better initiative. There's lots of people doing it tough um, day in day out and particularly as we head into Christmas. That's the nature of volunteerism, it's, it's people who want to be there to help their community, whether it's volunteers with food bank, whether it's emergency service volunteers, they're there to try and help people who need help uh, and they're there supporting their community in times of emergency but also um, in times like this when, when it, the emergency may not be community wide, it might be individual families but they're still going through an emergency and we need to support those people. This is the second year we've run Stuff Your Chopper Challenge. We uh, put the challenge out last year, for the first year, and that was readily accepted by uh, the RFS at that stage. This year we raised, uh, to, we stuffed our chopper with uh, just over 1,200 uh, kilos of foodstuffs, um, which is about 300 kilos more than we got last year, so we're pretty happy with that. Uh, we've been sort of married, uh, what was it? 15 years, 16 years? 16 years, 16 years. 16 years. yeah. 16 years. But, um, yeah, we sort of uh, joined food, sort of got onto Food Bank uh, about seven years ago when uh, I lost my job where I was at. Uh, I was on good money and dropped about 30000 um, We had a lot of debts at the time and um, these guys have helped us out. You go out running along quite nicely and um, things happened out of my control. And uh, yeah, we sort of trying to pay off a mortgage. Before it was like the kids would come home from school and say, oh, I'm hungry and say, well, you can't have anything to eat because if you eat it today, you don't have it tomorrow. And now they come home and say, I'm hungry, what can I have to eat? <laughs> so it's totally changed. Their attitudes have changed. When you see today, you know, uh, emergency service coming and helping food bank, which then helps you, how does that make you feel as recipients of the food that's been collected by, by everyday Australians over the last few weeks? Humbling. Yeah. I'd have to say it's humbling to see that much sort of given freely to help families out. The, the 18 tonne of food will provide between 35 and 40,000 meals, which means we're helping about 10,000 families. And that's a very, very significant contribution. And the emergency services should be very proud of their efforts from their staff and their volunteers. We, from Food Bank, we just say a great big thanks.